Tom will ring us up at the counter. Allison, I'm waiting. Let's pay for the groceries. Aren't you running for more gun control? My platform calls for sensible regulations, but folks around here need guns for safety. And as you know, we run extensive background checks before each and every sale. Hmm. Will that be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. Oh, hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. My god, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprised it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask you some questions about her. You're the only person who might have known Marianne better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Marianne was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. <sighs> what happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. That's all we can know. I need to go now. Best of luck to you, truly. What the hell was that? I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. Hey guys, you all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh? What's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? Huh. I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? Uh, Mom, can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne, can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's... Uh, Mom? Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne? Can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. 
Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Okay. We remember that slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know. But whatever happened, after that they walked to the counter and then Marianne lashed out a test, right? Uh, no. Marianne is going to be. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? The Lord disciplines those he loves. You're failing these kids, Marianne. Judge me all you want, but don't spew that hate around my children. Spew hate? I am trying to be your friend. They need a firm, <laughs> guiding hand, and you... Oh my God. You actually think you're being a friend right now? Talking about my children that way? Yes, you might find this hard to believe, but friends aren't just for loans, Marianne. You really want to get into this? Fine. Let's go to your office. I'll be right back, kids. You stay inside, okay? What is wrong with you? I wish you would have trusted me on this. I really don't think Tessa was being that harsh. You don't know her. And regardless of who started things, once they were in the office, they both went at it. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. It was impossible to hear over the music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. Offices. Is there something I can do for you? Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself, but you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. <sighs> I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, I was in the middle of something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. I think she knows more than she's letting on. <sighs> uh, duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hmm. You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? This might be a weird question, but do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time? <laughs> How could I forget? Uh, I think she's still got the CD back here. A little worse for the wear, of course. Uh, hold on. Huh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. A bit cheesy for my tastes. This is it, right? Think so. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Whoa, I just got hit with a flood of memories. You seeing what I'm seeing? Yeah. Should we check this one out? Mom, stop! That's so embarrassing! <laughs> oh yeah? Tessa, come join me. I know you love this song. No, I couldn't possibly. Some of us are actually trying to get work done here. I forgot how carefree she could be. Yeah. What the hell happened? You think there's more memories lurking around? I don't know. Let's see. The kids keep pestering me for these candies, but they're so expensive. Oh, just grab a bag. It's fine. Oh, no. I, I can't, Tessa. It's nothing. Okay. But write it down in your little notebook. Okay, okay, whatever you want. There, happy? Yes, and I'll be by on Wednesday to help you close, like I promised. Tessa acted like she was Marianne's mom sometimes. I think you mean Tessa was self-righteous and treated Marianne like a charity case. She was trying to help. We should see if we can find that notebook she was holding. I know Tessa still keeps a bunch of them in here somewhere. What are you doing here? Uh, I thought you needed help with the store. I needed help two hours ago. Have you been drinking? What? No, I just had a day, okay? I took a pill. I'm fine. Marianne. I said I'm fine. Kids, come on, let's go. Wait, please. I have something for you. Take a look at this when you get home, okay? They can handle this confusion. I've been working with these people for years. They can help. What do you think that pamphlet was Tessa gave to Mary Ann? I don't know. I saw it in Mary Ann's room. It had a creepy vibe, but I didn't think much about it. It was bad, though. Like, maybe conversion therapy bad. I'm sorry. Whoa. If this is true, I want to know how Mary Ann felt about it. And we need to hit Tessa with some hard proof. Shouldn't we try to find something about the pamphlet Tessa gave Marianne? Good idea. What was the organization called? The Alliance Against Other People's Business? Hmm. I should write down their info for after the move. Athletic, graceful, and spirited. Sounds like you. Sorry, I might be movie star handsome, but I can't act for shit. Can you believe Tessa and Tom were ever young? I heard that. I may have a little less going on in the hair department, but you should see the rest of Delos High, class of 81. Fair enough. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? How's Tessa today? She looked a bit overloaded earlier. She's a real busy bee. Ever since I started campaigning, she's picked up the slack around here. She's practically running the place. I hate to break it to you, but she always kinda has run the place. Well, now that's a matter of opinion. Okay, I'll talk to you later.
Tess is still doing that Bible study here every Wednesday? Mm-hmm. Wednesday nights are always packed. She cooks tons of babinka and the Hail Marys start flowing. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of leftovers after the rapture. More for us. Crazy that they haven't caught him yet. I really hope they get enough signatures on this. On what? They want to build a fancy hunting lodge up the river. It's going to totally screw up salmon migration. Uh, Tessa? Is it okay if I run a quick Google search? My phone's dead. Sure, but make it quick. I'm going to need the computer. Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. Wait, what? Is that what she recommended for Tyler? I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, Tyler. Yeah. Let's see how Tessa explains this one away. Is there something I can do for you? I think we've got a good sense of the situation. It's time to confront her. We're back. With details that should help your memory. Oh, really? Yes, really. We were buying groceries, and then you, you stormed in, threatening to call in debts and demanding that Marianne talk to you. It turned into an argument. So you guys went into the office and blasted that song you used to dance to all the time. Call in debts? I never. Like I'm some kind of loan shark. When did this supposedly occur? Well, our memories don't exactly have time stamps. <laughs> I can't be expected to take these accusations seriously if you can't even recall basic details. August 2004. That's when she stopped paying off her debts to you, right? August? No, that doesn't sound right. I distinctly remember her helping during the summer rush. I'm sure we never fought about money, though. I was always forgiving with your mother. I could see how she was struggling. Yeah, and you loved lording it over her, didn't you? Allison. Excuse me? Young lady, I help others because it's the right thing to do. You all would have starved if it weren't for me. And we're grateful for that. It's just an emotional subject for us. Right, Allison? Yeah. I never said you two were arguing about money. We know you support the Alliance for Traditional Families, and that you gave her the pamphlet about their camp. What camp? The Virtue Seekers Youth Camp. It was conversion therapy. You told her that Tyler should go there. I... Uh, um... I, t I really have no idea what you're talking about. And I was never cruel to Marianne. I did everything I could to help her. To help you all. Even when she fought me. Even when she screamed and spit in my face for the effort. Even when she... Even when she didn't deserve it. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Calm down. Look... We know you took care of us, and we're grateful. But I really need you to answer one question. When you two fought, was it ever about me? 
It was always about a lot of things. She was struggling with everything at the end. Did you try to convince Marianne to send Tyler to some kind of program? No. And I think you should go now. Tessa, I'm here to figure out if Marianne tried to kill me because of who I am. Do you get that? I do. I just... Then why won't you give us a straight answer? I... I truly don't know what went on in her mind that day. And it will always be my deepest regret that I didn't see it coming. Now I understand that this is an emotional topic for you both, and fortunately for you, I keep forgiveness at the heart of my relationships. You're so fucking righteous. Why did you dump Marianne when she was at her worst? I will not be dragged back into this. You need to go. Now. Can we have our groceries? Uh, um, Michael already put them in your trunk. Cool. Bye, Tom. What are you thinking? Just trying to wrap my brain around all that. You know, we might have actually gotten to the truth if you hadn't lashed out at her. Are you serious right now? You were on her case the whole time. Don't turn this on me. It's obvious she's guilty of something and that's why she doesn't want to talk about it. Ugh, that sanctimonious bitch. Done now? You get all that out of your system? <sighs> Sorry, I got so worked up. It just makes me crazy that she would play dumb like that. She knows how important this is to us, to you. Yeah, but you know, you're onto something with the guilt. She didn't want to admit what they thought about, which makes me think it was me. You spooked her with that talk about the program. I think Marianne really was trying to figure out how to support me before whatever the hell happened that pushed her over the edge. You may be right. Yeah. She stood up for me, Allison. She was still crazy Marianne, but... She saw me. I feel lighter. Like I've been carrying something around for the last 10 years and now it's gone. I, I'm really happy for you. But. That just opens a whole new box of Pandora's, doesn't it? Yeah, a whole damn shipping crate full. Well, it's a good thing Eddie's expecting us. He knew Marianne pretty well, and he was in charge of her case. Did he ever mention anything about the investigation to you? No, I never asked. And I'm sure he thought I was better off not knowing. Guess that might have made for some awkward dinner conversation. Exactly. But I mean, he's a good cop. Thorough. I'm sure he's got something. Let's go. This is kind of bleak. It's usually more crowded, but the other officers punch out at six o'clock sharp. <laughs> There's no crime after six? In the mean streets of Delos Crossing? Just bears and drunken disorderlies. And Uncle Eddie can usually handle them on his own. But what about drunk bears? <laughs> anyway, he's probably in his office, upstairs. <laughs> 